Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to this All Blacks career mode. We are currently starting the Quad Nations 2020 as the All Blacks. And I believe, yes, the first step is we are required to select our squad for the Quad Nations. Now these are going to be some big decisions. And we can see here that we've got the whole squad from the World Cup currently. I'm going to check through who is that. Right, I've decided... I'm going to make the decision, I'm going to make it so that it replicates the New Zealand squad for this year as we are the Quad Nations 2020. So I'm going to get the exact same squad as the All Blacks for these upcoming matches. Right, so I've got it so that it's the exact same squad as the All Blacks are using this year. The only difference is that man on screen via Fafita, he is in instead of Tupo Va'ai who unfortunately wasn't coming up in the menus option. So with that squad selected, let's see how this year for the All Blacks goes with this new selected side. Right, so I have selected the squad. This is actually a different day to when I recorded that first part, but unfortunately, after selecting the squad, I realized I missed out Lau Mapi, who has been brought into the New Zealand squad, and also Peter Umanga Jensen. So unfortunately, I'm missing a couple, but our first match is against the Wallabies here. And it's the first match of the Bledisloe Cup, so hopefully we can get a win over the Wallabies. Welcome to ANZ Stadium. This should be an exciting match. My comments man for this match is Justin Marshall. And Justin, it's set to be a good game. These two teams always put on a good showing. The footing is excellent. Now. Right, so the Wallabies have a lot of new young talent in their squad. I have mixed ours up a little bit. I've gone with what a lot of people were hoping the real lineup would be like. That is with Savia at six. And I've got Hoskin Satutu making his All Blacks debut at number eight. Then we've got Bowden Barrett at first five. In the real world, he was injured, but not in this. Caleb Clark at number 11 on the wing. Leonard Brown at 12. Goodhue 13. Sever Reese number 14. And Geordie Barrett is going to be playing fullback. Now the benches, I've mixed it up a little bit as well. Unfortunately, I was unable to get Va'ai. So because of that, Fafita will be taking his place at number 19. And I've got Richie Moanga and Will Jordan are my two spare backs on the reserves bench. Hopefully, this team will be strong enough to get the win over the Wallabies here. Your blacks get ready for the hooker. We are fired up the All Blacks. Kirtley Bear will be kicking off for the Wallabies. Unfortunately, this Wallaby side, because they're made up of so many young players, it will be very difficult saying who they all are. Whitelock, though, takes that one well. We have kept that ball there. Perinara out to Bowden Barrett. Leonard Brown, one more to Sevi Reese. Fends one off. Offload, and it's gone into touch, unfortunately. Not quite the start we are after. The line out will be to the Wallabies here. Oh, I thought that was going to be Whitelock's ball, but the Wallabies have retained this. Oh, they've gone that side. Good tackle from Sam Kane, the newly assigned captain. Nick White to the number five, fires it back. Sam Kane had to make that tackle. Tell you what, they've found a bit of space here. Great tackle from Geordie Barrett, though. The Wallabies putting us under a lot of pressure early here. Oh, and they've found a gap up the middle, the Wallabies. And they have scored early in this first half. That was some great attacking from the Wallabies. It was unfortunately because of our mistake. But Michael Wood, the lock for the Wallabies, score. 
Geordie Barrett with a good tackle there. The Wallabies just too much pressure. Nick White, inside ball, and we couldn't catch him. Michael Wood scores the first try of the match for the Wallabies. We're going to have to get some tries soon, or else they might start running away with this first Bledisloe Cup test match. Now it is Cooper Hodge, he's a new one. I saw that he is 90 rated, and I think they've just taken a couple... Like of the names of the Australian players and mix them together. But nonetheless, Cooper Hodge has kicked it straight down the middle. And because of it, it is now 7-0 to the Wallabies. We're under a lot of pressure here. I don't think in all of our World Cup games that I can remember we ever were down points. I think we were always the first team to score. Good chase from Leonard Brown there. Good tackle from Whitelock. Can we get this back? Not quite. Good hit from Aaron Smith. But we still don't have this ball. They are getting forced backwards, the Wallabies. Sam Kane with that tackle. Oh, and it was a forward pass to Michael Hooper. We are five metres out from their line now. Good, strong hit. Are we going to be able to hang on to this ball? And a good going on here. Off the back, Hoskins to Tutu, to Smith. No, it's been intercepted though. Great job from the Wallabies there. There are all kinds of lines going all over the place. That's a great ball. But Aaron Smith with the tackle on. That's an interesting ball. And he has kicked it into touch. Didn't get a lot of distance on it, Hodge. But the Wallabies clearing their lines a little bit. Oh, and that's on their side as well from Cody Taylor. Oh, but have we kept it? Tui Below who keeps that one. Smith, Bowden Barrett fires out to Caleb Clark. One more, Leonard Brown. One more to Goodyear. Has he got the base? Jack Goodyear, he's looking likely. And he has made it to the line. Jack Goodyear. And because of it, we are now back into this match. It was a good backline movement off the line-out win. The Wallabies would have been wanting a bit more distance on that clearing kick. Aaron Smith to Bowden Barrett. Out to Caleb Clark. One more, Leonard Brown. A nice pass to Goodyear at the pace to outrun his opposite number. Very good work from the All Blacks there. Geordie Barrett to kick this one. The wind is straight behind him. Oh, that wasn't a good kick at all. That might miss. Come round, no. It's hit the post. I have choked on that kick very badly. And because of it, we are still behind. I don't know what's happening. The nerves are getting to me. This big match. In real life, it was a 16-all draw. I don't want that to happen on here. We want to win as the All Blacks. There's no fullback, so Aaron Smith puts it on the boot. It's a big kick. Caleb Clark is chasing hard. So is Bowden Barrett. It's a very good kick from Aaron Smith. That's exactly where he wanted it to pull up. That was a forward pass. And because of it, five metres out from the line. Very good kick from Aaron Smith there. There's some definite power going on in the scrums. Aaron Smith off the back gives it to Leonard Brown out to Sever Reese. one more to Goodhue who is tackled well though well we gotta go this way don't we Taylor offload it yes Leonard Brown one more to Sever Reese in the corner no he has been stopped and because of it five meters out from the line I tried to offload it back infield but it did not quite happen can we steal this line out though? Yes we can, Whitelock has done very well, gives it to Caleb Clark, who passes the good you. One more out to Leonard Brown, and Leonard Brown scores for the All Blacks. Anton Leonard Brown is playing 12, he didn't play in the real match, he is playing now. And Leonard Brown scores his first try of the match for the All Blacks, off a line out that was contested very well by Whitelock, stolen Smith. Out to Caleb Clark. One more to Goodhue. Passes. Links up with his centre counterpart, which was Leonard Brown. And because of it, now the All Blacks do have the lead in this match. Got their five. 
Geordie Barrett to kick this one. The wind's straight behind him again. They have got that one a lot better. And because of it, that one has gone over. And the score is now going to be 12-7 to the All Blacks. And we are not at half-time yet. Kirtley Beal to once again kick off for the Wallabies. It's gone high, but Whitelock has lined it up. It's taken well by Hodge. Does Smith do it again? I think he should. Aaron Smith puts it on the boot. And he is chasing hard, Aaron Smith. Oh, the bounce is favourable for the Wallabies, though, and it has found touch. They will want to win this line out here, the Wallabies. But we have been contesting well, although we won't be able to contest that one very easily. We are a little bit too far back. Hodge goes wide to Beal. He's got a bit of pace. Kirtley Bell has shunted off Seve Reese. Oh, and now the Wallabies. Little flick out the back. Nick White has dropped that ball, though. Aaron Smith now on the counter. We go to Goodhue. One more. No. And because of that, we are going back for the knock-on. But because it is half-time, we will be going into the sheds. So the score at half-time is 12-7 to the All Blacks. Half-time break here. It's been very even overall. And the Wallabies have actually had five handling errors to our two. So we've actually been the stronger team when it comes to holding on to the ball. With one or three scrums and possession and territory, you can hardly split the two sides. So hopefully we can get a little bit more possession in the second half and can win this match. Bowden Barrett, two kick off. It's a good high kick. Tackled well by Leonard Brown. It was Cooper Hodge. Nick White round the side. Oh, does a fend on Aaron Smith. He's running hard. Nick White. The Wallabies looking like they are going to start the second half strong. Good tackle from Tui Pelotu. That's a very wide pass. Nick White, though, is driven into touch. Oh, that might be too far on my side, sadly. No, it's fine. Sam Kane takes that one. His tackle well, though. Smith round the side. Goes to Satutu with his first touch of the game. Out to Leonard Brown. One more. Out to Caleb Clark on the wing. He's shunted one off. Offload. No, that was way too big of an offload there from Caleb Clark. He was trying to find good you, but well and truly put everything behind that. And it has found touch. Oh, but Sam Kane has stolen the line out once again. The Wallabies will not be happy with that. One more. Draw and pass. Seve Reese shunts one off. Tries to step, but is unable to. We have got the option now of going very wide. Good you to Bowden Barrett. One more to Leonard Brown, who didn't get a lot on that one. But Caleb Clark has cleaned that up well. Sam Whitelock now goes to Goodhue. One more to Leonard Brown, who I shouldn't have offloaded that. Not the smartest move there. Got a bit excited, but Moody has ripped it back and had his head taken off his body by whoever that was for the Wallabies. Caleb Clark out to Geordie Barrett now in the back line. Sevo Reese. One more. It's not a good pass, though. We will need to work on the passing before the second match. Good low tackle by Tuanga Fussy there. The Wallabies look like they could score again and it could be Gertley Bill. Is it going to be Gertley Bill? Yes it is, Gertley Bill scores. I couldn't catch him. Caleb Clark and Aaron Smith not quick enough. And because of it, the Wallabies may take the lead back in this match. It was none other than the experienced Kirtley Beal who did it. Unfortunately, Nick White, that's a great offload and we just, we got caught out. And Aaron Smith always just that little bit too far behind him there. Same with Caleb Clark. And Kirtley Beal scores in the corner for the Wallabies.
This match is too close for my liking, but I have to admit I'm kind of loving it. The real match was very back and forth, and this one looks like it's going to be the same. Right, and with that, Cooper Hodge. He's close to the sideline, but he is rated 90, so I feel like he will be able to kick this one over, and if he does, it will mean... Has he got it? Yes, he does. Straight down the middle, Cooper Hodge, which now means that they, the Wallabies, are back in the lead. It is 14-12. The All Blacks will need to score some points once again if they want to win this first match. They have gone short strategically, but have not regained it, sadly. Doing a fussy, though. Back to his feet, almost stealing that one. Good tackle there on Nick White by Tui Pelotu. And tackled Aaron Smith there. He's been hit hard. Hey, well, I don't think the Wallabies have finished scoring. They look like they want to score again here. They've got a young, hungry side who want to take down this All Blacks team. Good tackle from Smith, though. Back to his feet. I thought it was going to be his ball. Oh, if Hooper had found that outside ball. Could have been another try. Oh, Nick White is injured. That is a big hit to the Wallaby side. Who will be the replacement? We need a little miracle here if we want to win against the Wallabies. The clock is ticking down extremely quickly, if I'm being honest. We are running out of time. Sturzaka to Hodge. It's tackled well. Back through the group. Have we got that one? No, we haven't. The Wallabies will want to retain this ball for the last 10 minutes. But the All Blacks will certainly not want that to happen, and we have stolen it back now. We've got nine minutes to make something happen here. We're going this way. Kane, out to Sevu Reese, who's got an acre of space, and because of that, Sevu Reese has put the ball down. Two hands, please. We don't need another situation like the weekend. But Sevu Reese has scored, and the All Blacks are back in the lead. Dwanga Fassi plays half back. Went to Sam Kane, lured them in, went to Sevu Reese. And unfortunately, the scary thing is, if the Wallabies had intercepted that, it was a try down the other end. But because of Sevu Reese's positioning and the great pass from Sam Kane, luckily it was able to find him. It's hard to see from that angle, but there was a Wallabies player lurking. It was their number 11. But Sevu Reese able to score the All Blacks back in the lead in this match. And it came at a perfect time. Now I'm not completely sure I've won this game yet though. Because of that early miss that I had as Geordie Barrett. It means that if the Wallabies were to score, they could convert and then they will win this match. So we need some more points. But we are making our subs. Perinara on for Smith. Caleb Clark off for Will Jordan. And Hoskins Satutu off for Shannon Frizzell. We've had a bit of a shuffle in the forward pack. Oh, and Shannon Frizzell's going to get some early work. No, he's not. It's gone to Joe Moody. We have kept that ball there. Oh, we've got numbers this way. Tui Pelotu. One more out to Will Jordan, the man who's only just come onto the field. What a super rugby Aotearoa season that man had. And he is going to score a try for the All Blacks. And because of that try from Will Jordan, we do surely win this match. He's only been on the field for about two minutes. Same with that man, Perinara. Tatui Pelotu finds Will Jordan. They were all worried about Bowden Barrett. Definitely their number 14. But Will Jordan, he has got a lot of toe. And he scores. Shot at goal. Still to come. And chance for another two points. And you'd have to say Jordy Barrett to kick this one. I can't see because of that white, but I have timed it right. Luckily. What a time to score. Will Jordan, super sub. And once again, TJ Perinara showing his worth at halfback as well. There are only 28 seconds left of this match. By the time Kirtley Bell kicks off, the match will be over. Shannon Frizzell didn't want that one. Cody Taylor does, though. Right, we have got this ball. 
The only issue is injuries. But I feel like we want to score again. Seve Reese does offend but is unable to clear the defender there. Perinara out to Goodyear. One more to Bowden Barrett who sees a bit of a gap. We have kept that ball. Joe Moody. One more to Will Jordan. Passes to Lennart Brown but unfortunately it was forward. But with that said, that means we are now at full time. And the All Blacks had a very good last seven minutes of that match. And because of it, we do win this match. And we win it 26 to 14. The boys had to put in a big shift there to win this match. But we scored four times. Leonard Brown, Goodhue, Reese, and Jordan. And then Geordie Barrett converting three of the four. Wood and Beal scored there too. Hodge converting both. And tell you what, the Wallabies, they look dangerous at times in this match. I'm looking forward to the second match of this series. But we had less possession. We had a little bit more territory. Wow, our handling errors went up a lot in that second half. Up to, we must have had seven. And we made more tackles as well. But we were able to beat them. And that's all that matters. The All Blacks victorious here. Right, we are sitting one up in the Bledisloe Cup series. And we are at the top of the table in the Quad Nations. So, with that said, that's the end of this video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.